Welcome to the Alps booth at the Consumer Electronics Show 2018, where we are showing our latest innovations. Alps is a leading manufacturer of connectivity modules, and uh, here we have some of our uh, connectivity solutions, uh, starting from our V2X module, which is your vehicle to infrastructure. And uh, we also have a GNSS and a LTE module for uh, uh, both your uh, cellular uh, connectivity and for uh, vehicle navigation. Here's an example of our IoT sensor network module. And we have our module integrated into our baseball for pitch analytics. And here you see how we're able to use the accelerometer and a geomagnetic sensor to calculate both position and velocity. And our IoT sensor network module also is able to connect to your cloud and we have a partnership with Mode to provide a backend data analytics. So you're not only able to collect data from your sensor network module, but you're able to visualize it and uh, analyze it and post-process it on a cloud platform. So this is the UPS touch input module. Uh, this showcases the uh, utilization of uh, touch sensing as well as uh, voice haptic feedback. The capacitive uh, touching is actually uh, done using ALPS uh, Comet touch sensing ASIC. It's used on all of our uh, capacitive sensing devices and applications. Uh, for this module, uh, the haptic feedback is done by using a solenoid. Uh, once you apply a force greater than 8G, so there's no inadvertent actuation of a switch input. So this demo here just showcases a, a navigation, infotainment, and, and phone uh, setup. And it just showcases, uh, in this case, a haptic feedback. So if you glide over the screen here, you feel the increase as you, uh, or the uh, haptic feedback increase as you scroll to a higher fan setting. Once you want the desired setting, you apply some pressure and your switch, switch input is detected as well as your audio entertainment. As you apply uh, your finger to the function, you can hear the actual haptic vibration of the sensing panel. To skip to the next song, apply pressure, and it'll recognize the input to skip to the next song. As well as your phone setting, there's no inadvertent press or button input as you apply uh, just a light pressure to the screen. To recognize an actual valid button press, you'll have to apply high amount of pressure to recognize the switch input so there's no inadvertent actuation. Uh, this is also has a capability of hovering and proximity detection using immersion touch sense technology. So if you just wave your hand across the screen there, it recognizes uh, hand gesturing up to about 100 millimeters, it will, as well as gesturing left or right uh, scrolling options. So this demo showcases the haptic reactor. Uh, this is um, primarily for gaming and uh, VR control. So in these controllers, you'll see there's two haptic reactors, two different sizes, which will represent higher frequency or lower frequency uh, inputs and outputs to uh, give you more of a realistic uh, gameplay. So the reactor is able to differentiate uh, based on the input pulse. So for example, if we have a light density uh, it should register as a high frequency, so your tough type, which is your smaller uh, uh, reactor device, it will input a high frequency, a uh, resonant frequency, and then will also output your uh, out high frequency output as well. And conversely, for your uh, more heavier dense inputs, it will register as a low frequency input and it should, it should register a low frequency vibration, which is used by your hybrid super tough type uh, reactor. So this demo was able to differentiate between a high density or heavy ball versus a low impact, low density ball, as well as uh, a low density coin, for example, to give it a little higher frequency.
Here is our haptic trigger plus demo. This is the next generation VR immersive experience. Uh, what we have here is we have combined haptic feedback with temperature and pressure sensing. And we use our vibrational <laughs> motors along with our potentiometer to detect softness and hardness of objects. And also we're integrating temperature so in a VR environment you're able to actually pick up objects and sense whether it's hot or cold. So here we're showing um, some standard circle touch pads. We've got an open source based development kit that uses uh, track pads of a couple of different sizes. It's designed to work with Alps haptics and there's a couple of different overlay options available. We've got a customer application here where they're using these uh, round touch pads in a game controller right here. We also are shipping these in remote controls, avionics, various other consumer electronics. So this is kind of our next gen high end custom solution for virtual reality gaming. We've got a virtual reality controller here and what we've done is made the whole surface touch sensitive with proximity sensing. So we can project out the capacitive field and see where these hands and fingers are both on and above the surface of the controller. So you can see that with my thumb here above this trackpad. And this is a full trackpad, so in addition to the proximity sensing, you can touch down on here and get a full trackpad experience. And we can do this all with a single chip. Here's the VR grip demonstrating a virtual hand like you would have in a VR game. And so because we're doing proximity sensing, this isn't just an on-off. You can actually see where the fingers are in the space above the controller. And this lets us simulate a virtual hand so now the user can pick things up in the game, they can point, they can throw things, make for a much more natural and immersive experience. And for more information on this, you can check out our other videos on YouTube at CircCorp. Here's one of our examples of how capacitive sensing can be integrated into premium materials. So here's a, a hard material or a hard surface like wood that has capacitive touch integrated. It also supports gesture, hover, proximity sensing, and we also have a, a capacitive sensing integrated into fabric. So here we have a conductive fabric that is integrated into a vehicle a seat. You have your heating and cooling and capacitive sensor being enabled here. You're able to either activate your heated seat or your cooled seat and that's one of the applications. And here we're showing us the stitch is actually a guideline for the user to use touch. As our capacitive sensor is actually highly sensitive to detect the user's input of his finger as it goes up the stitching for different types of input operations. This is our capacitive touch door handle switch. It utilizes Alps capacitive ASIC technology. And here we're just demonstrating a specific application of the capacitive touch. So here we have our standard capacitive door handle. But what's different about this door handle? So current products in the market today, they have a tough time sensing when there's rain or snow or adverse weather effects. But this product is very reliable and very robust, utilizing the Alps capacitive touch. And since we also have many sensors in there, we can also get gesture on the outside as well. But it isn't limited to just this. You can do multiple different directions, but here we just have left and right. We also find that customers like to have one finger in the door handle sometimes when it's very cold outside, and we like to demonstrate that we can still detect the finger in that case. It's so robust that we can get even a very thick winter glove on, and it'll still detect you. So here, get outside we have touch and our gesture, and then also grab on the inside. 